Las Vegas market update and housing news coming at you. If you wanna know information that's going to help you make decisions now and in the future, whether you're buying or selling real estate in Las Vegas, well, this video is for you. And I do go over some national news as well. I've got a whole bunch for you. And my whole statement here is if you're a buyer or a seller in Las Vegas, you have found a video that will help you more than any other out there. Let's get started, folks, on the other side. Hey, welcome everybody to Howe's Housing Headlines. That's right, I'm Rob Howe and I'm with Elite Realty and I've been in real estate since 2009. That's quite some time and most of that time has been spent on the upward side. Although it was a very tough time to get into real estate when I did, it has been great to be involved in real estate. And now we're going through a little bit of a roller coaster ride. And that's why I've decided to make videos that will help people understand what's happening because I do feel like the changes are happening rapidly. They're happening often. And, uh, you know, we need to know more information to help us make better decisions. That's what this is all about. So I'm going to start off with if you're thinking of buying a new home and maybe that new home might be in Summerlin South, well, then you need to know about the Peaks Village and the Toll Brothers model homes that are being opened very soon. This is over there next to the Summit and Mesa Ridge, which are two of the top villages in all of Summerlin South. And I just think that if you're looking in this area, this is going to be a highlight for you. So you got to know about these homes coming up. Toll Brothers is doing what's called a first look at the home designs. And it's time for the big reveal, folks. They're doing it there. If you were looking for anywhere from three to five bedrooms from about 3,400 to 5,000 square feet, these are gonna be some great homes. They will be very popular. This area is going to sell quickly. So contact me if you wanna know more about the homes in Ascension at the Peaks Village. These are Toll Brothers homes. There will also be Pulte homes in this area. I wanted to mention that really quickly, but now I wanna get into the headlines that are really important to you. If you're a seller right now, I need you to know this, okay? Upward pressure on rates is going to make things harder for buyers. It is making things harder for buyers, no doubt about it. It's, it has been, but now it's going to continue. And this is why if you're a seller, you wanna consider getting in and getting your property sold ASAP, because I just don't think it's gonna get much better for you for a little while. And it really only means that as we go on in time, inventory may rise and you're probably looking at either having to cut your price more or offer more in closing costs. And that means more out of your bottom line. Buyers, if you're paying attention, that may mean that you can expect a little better market for you going ahead. But let's talk about it. 7% interest rates have become the norm and I believe they're gonna stay up there for a little while. The Fed is very, very intent on doing what they're doing, which let's not kid ourselves, they're extracting value from the marketplace. This is part and parcel, parcel of their goal. Um, and just because we live in Las Vegas where the market is much better than some other markets and going to remain relatively better than a lot of other markets. See, people are coming here. They want to get away from places that are costing them a lot of money and they want to go to a place where they can save money and still live well. Las Vegas represents that. But the volume is down because this has been hampering people from being able to whether it's sell their homes in other markets or to be able to afford the, the rate that are going on. So we have to keep an eye on this. What has been saving Vegas is the low inventory. Basically, housing is on lockdown right now. Let me tell you about how much lockdown it's on because if you're looking at the luxury market, that's why I started out with those Toll Brothers homes in Summerlin South because luxury listings are very hard to come by right now. Let me tell you what's happening. Las Vegas sees the nation's biggest drop in luxury home listings. I'm gonna put this link down below, but we have dropped as far as listings available for luxury. The luxury sellers don't wanna sell. And that's because for them to buy, 
is that whole switch. And so you think about it on a jumbo loan and these higher rates, what they mean to people who are pay, who have much higher priced homes, it's much more significant. So that is creating lower inventory, certainly in the luxury market. So when you have new homes coming on, like the ones in Summerlin South, those become very popular. And if you're reading between the lines and you're a seller in the luxury market, my goodness, you need to get your home on the market and extract the value you can, because I think as we go along, this will change little by little. I've got proof of it. If you want to see that proof, I'm gonna show it to you in the seven day market watch so check that out. That's coming up pretty quick here. Volume staying low and is going to drop off more as we continue into the end of the year. There will be less volume. That is typically what happens. Less people start moving uh, towards the end of the year. That is going to be happening. That also usually means less listings on the market. But if volume gets low enough, the listings are going to start piling up. Now, there is another saving grace. This is where we're dealing with a bit of a yo-yo, and I'm gonna give you some national news as well that tells you what a yo-yo we're really on. It's like, you know, you get the good news, you get the bad news, you get the good news, you get the bad news. It's up and down. And I'm gonna tell you some more good news, and this is why it's existing in the moment good news. I can't say that this is going to continue as we go along, but deception in inventory is always there. There is always inventory that is not really viable. So many overpriced and junky properties are on the market right now. Every time I go out with a buyer, they see property that is just not even viable for them. They, they can't consider it. It needs too much work. They've got, they want too much money. And those sellers are not coming down on the price quickly enough. So that is inventory that shows that it's there, but is not really inventory that you can really even consider. So that is sort of saving us. So here's where we have that little up and down. We do have some signs for sellers that are telling me without a doubt, you're gonna have more competition in the marketplace as time goes on. But right now is very, very good if you're a seller. I don't think that continues forever. I think that is changing incrementally and I'm gonna show it to you right now what I'm talking about. Right now on the market, we have 5,284 listings. The last time I did this, which was two weeks ago, we had 5,200. So we are plus 84 listings on the market. Doesn't sound like much, but it does show that incremental increase that I've been talking about. Total new listings back on market and coming soon, we've got 1,085 listings. Two weeks ago, that was 1,055. So we've increased by 30 homes in two weeks. Not a big number, but it is a movement in the upward direction. More listings showing up, okay? Um, that is uh, just a small indication. Now let's see what's moving away from you if you're a buyer that's going coming on the market or let's just say, what do you, if you're a seller, what's actually selling, right? Under contract show, under contract no show, expired, temporarily off the market, withdrawn and withdrawn conditional. Now this for a buyer means all inventory that's going away from you. For a seller, some of this is important to know what's going under contract and what's not, you know, what's being withdrawn and expiring. You do wanna know those numbers. So you can see there that you do have a fair amount that are being withdrawn from the market. We got withdrawn and withdrawn conditional 154 and 83. The total amount of inventory going away is 1277. And two weeks ago, that was 1184. So a little bit, a touch more going away. I think I attribute to this to a relatively strong market still in the summertime. This will change. There will be less that goes into these categories if inventory starts to rise and there's not, and there's a little less buyer activity. We did have 651 solds. That is down 120 from two weeks ago. So less solds, um, that's important to know. We are starting to see a slight snowball effect. And that is what I, I figure is going to continue as we go into the later part of the year. There will be a slight snowball effect 
with inventory rising. Now I'm gonna get into some national news, which I think is important. And I want to give you a recommendation for a video to watch. If you made it this far, first of all, give yourself a gold star. You're awesome. You're gonna get rewarded with this. If you don't already know about clear value tax, this is a channel that you should be watching. This guy really knows his stuff. He's definitely one of the more sharp people that I see out there giving it to us the way it really is. And he has a video on credit down downgrade. The US was downgraded on our credit. Now there was so much news going on that this got covered up, but it is a big deal. This downgrade of credit does tell me that, it, that there is concern out there for what's happening in the US. So if you wanna know more about that, this guy has a great video on that. And he also talks about that we need to pay attention to any layoffs that might be coming. This is definitely being echoed by um, a number of people out there that I think are sharp. The concerns for recession, there's right now economists are about 60, 40 split, whether or not a recession is gonna happen. The other side of that is how deep that recession would be. Well, clear value tax guy, you know, I, want, I won't give too much away, but he doesn't think a deep recession is going to come. But this is again, another point that I need to make to sellers. You're gonna take a chance as time goes on. If the rates stay high, the Fed is going to create these problems, whether it's the layoffs in the marketplace that obviously take jobs away from people who might be looking to buy homes and or recession that could come that would also be all inclusive of that. So check out Clear Value Tax. I definitely think he's got a lot of information on there. I'll actually put a video of his that I find particularly uh, good in my description. The decrease in listing in luxury homes, I'll put a link there as well. Once again, I really appreciate you watching this. I hope this gives you more insight to what's happening with the Las Vegas real estate market. I am generally very positive about what's happening in Las Vegas, but I work with a lot of sellers and I want them to have the best information so that if they are ready to sell, they make that happen before they lose money. That's my big concern right now. As a buyer, you just need to take your motivation to get into the market and say, when does this need to happen for me? And ideally line that up with the best you can possibly do in the moment. I do think things will get a little better for buyers as far as being able to negotiate with sellers and a little bit more inventory. So that's good, but let's see what happens on the other side of things. I will continue to update everyone with what I am seeing. And hey, check out my Summerlin South videos. I'd love you to do that. And also please let me know where I'm getting it wrong, where I'm getting it right. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you got a second. Subscribe, baby. I really appreciate everyone subscribing. Um, I'm a little channel that's growing little by little, and I hope I'm giving you the little bit of information that helps make a difference in your life for your real estate world. A lot of people have goals that involve real estate, and I am with that. Hey, have a great day, everybody. I will see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.